All right, guys, so this was the other bit of news that was coming from Disney, and I thought I'd uh, give my thoughts on it. So this is the announcement for a... There has been an announcement for a new Disney show, and I gotta say, it feels like uh, Zorro shows always get announced, but they never come to fruition. Like, there was, there was like, a movie, I believe, that was supposed to be, like, a post-apocalyptic movie that never happened, and then the CW was gonna do a Zorro show, but it was gonna be focused on a female Zorro, like, the great-great-granddaughter of De La Vega. So, and I was ex interested in that. So, I do like... I do like, uh... I do, uh, like, I... Uh, like, every so often... Like, we get the announce. It seems like the annual, like, once or twice announcement for a new Zorro project. Like, there's always, like, a new Zorro project every so often that gets announced. And then it's gone. It's all gone. <laughs> uh, so it's kind of nice because at least Disney will give you the announcement for, like, a new Zorro show. Like, at least, Z at least you know, that's the thing. Like, at least. Disney has, like, hard evidence, and, like, nine, 85 to 90% of the time, it at least gets put out there. So, a new show on, D Zorro show on Disney+, Plus. they already have a De La Vega for the show. I have no idea who this actor is. I looked him up, and I was like, okay, so he's, like, from the th one of 30 um, crime shows on, on cable television. Take your... I, I, I even forgot, like, what, uh, what show he was even on. I think it was, like, Law & Order or something. I don't know. But, yeah, it is cool that we are getting a Zorro show. Um, I, have a, I have a major love for the character, not just the Antonio Banderas movies. Uh, I really love the, uh, the classic show. I remember as a kid, like, they would always premiere on the Disney Channel, like, late at night, um, like, classic Disney stuff, and the old um, Zorro show would be in that lineup. So that was always kind of cool of seeing, like, the classic Zorro show... Uh, being played, and I always, I always, uh, I always like that. Um, I really enjoyed. Um, I, re I really enjoyed like a lot of Zorro projects. I've really enjoyed a lot of them. So this is just another notch on that belt. Hopefully, uh, yeah. So the story is, is that Della Vega, uh, um. Uh, De La Vega is coming back to uh, California after the, a family tragedy, and it's him taking on the... Of course, it's an origin story, so that's really cool. I also am glad it's not a movie. I'm kind of glad that we're getting a new series. Like, it's been, it's, been a long, it's been a hot minute since we've had, like, a Zorro series. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's been a hot minute. So that is really cool that we are getting like a, a like a hot like a new show and a new um, and a, and a new direction. So I also like that it is doing a period piece. I am happy that we are getting a period piece show because um, here's the thing: like a lot of these new Zorro projects that kept getting announced and then canceled simultaneously, there was always this running thing of. Why are we fucking with the with the formula here? Like Zorro in a post-apocalyptic world, or Zorro present day? And I'm like, guys, just keep Zorro. It's an old West show. Just keep Zorro as a Western. I know Westerns aren't exactly popular, but Jesus fucking Christ, guys! Like it's not hard. So yeah, I also am curious to see how the public is going to react to this because I've seen a lot of people be like you know oh you know I can't wait for Zorro to, to make Zorro SJW I'm like do y'all do y'all know the character right like you guys are you guys like aware of what Zorro's about like he fights the one like literally fights the one percent and protects the like these group of people who have been downtrodden and beaten down by the upper class Zorro's been like Zoro's been that since day one. I don't know what to tell you, but, like, that's always been Zorro. <laughs> I, I generally, like, the whole thing of, like, someone saying Zorro's gone woke, I'm like, but that's what Zorro is. That's what he's always been, right? <laughs> um, so that is cool. Um, this does mean, like, a few things. I will say that 
I feel like um, I was kind of hoping uh, I was kind of hoping if we were going to get a new Zoro show I will talk about this I was kind of hoping for a if we if we had ever gotten a new Zoro show I was kind of hoping that we would get a ser uh, like a series that's just a wee bit darker and what I mean is is like just a, a little bit more touching on just the the brutality of that era of before California became the state. And because I've, I've seen some history, it's amazing what you can find on YouTube. Um, I've seen a lot of like history videos talking about like when before California became a state and the whole rigmarole between uh, Mexico and Spain and subsequently France, but that's another story. That shit was brutal. That shit was ungodly brutal, and I don't think... The whole... Also, the, of throwing in Santa Ana into the whole thing. That shit was ungodly brutal. And I feel like they've never really touched on the brutality in Zorro. Well, the first Banderas movie uh, did touch on it a, a little bit, but I don't feel like it went far enough. So I would like a Zorro show that did kind of talk about, like, that kind of um, era when you know, America's doing the Manifest Destiny, as well as just kind of the, st uh, like, the political games that were going on between America, the Dons, and Santa Ana at the time. History's amazing, and but it's also very blood-soaked and brutal. <laughs> so I wish we could do more of that. I hope maybe we can do that, but I doubt it. Like, I kind of doubt it. But then again, Andor went in some very dark places that I was not expecting on a Disney show. So, yeah. This, um, this does give me a lot of joy. This does, like to quote Thanos, this does bring a smile to my face. So, I am very excited for a new Zorro show. If only we could have gotten that Zorro Django crossover movie. Yeah, that was supposed to happen, and it was supposed to be done by Quentin Tarantino, who, it was supposed to be based off of his comic he wrote for, uh, in that Dynamite Vertigo crossover. So... There, like that was supposed to happen, and Benderas was gonna come back for Old Man Zorro, and I wish we got that. Damn it! I was like, I was so ready for that to be a thing. I, I can't believe we didn't get that, and it bothers me. It bothers me to no end that we never got that in any way, shape, or form. That bothers me. Ugh. So, yeah. I'm very excited for the Zorro show. Hopefully this one will actually come about. I mean, with Disney, at least, like, 85 to 90% of the time, they do get shit through the door. So hopefully this time around we'll actually get a workable Zorro project off the ground. Fucking finally, and we could stop this whole thing of Zorro projects that get announced or rumored to be announced, and then fuck all happens. So you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of this announcement for a new Zorro series. Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? Um, what are your expectations for this show? Uh, are you guys um, are you guys interested? Are you guys not? And also, just for shits and giggles, um, what other classic um, Western characters would you like to see get a new take? I know Disney kind of shit the bet on Lone Ranger, but I wouldn't mind like a, a second stab at it. I wouldn't be opposed if if there was another crack at it, honestly. And I will also throw my hat in the ring for uh, the Rifleman. I know just ever like uh, everyone just went, uh, just had a, uh, uh, a Guardians moment. Who? <laughs> if you if you're like if you were like eight years old in the '90s and woke up at AMC, watching AMC like classic AMC, then you know exactly who I'm talking about. Or you're over fifty, or you're like in your six in your set sixties and seventies, then you know exactly who I'm talking about. Anyway, so I've rambled on enough. Hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.